Over the past couple of days, I've been using my Raspberry Pi to do some torrenting. So for this video, I'll show you what it's been like with like the system resources of the Pi, how much memory and CPU usage it's used, and what it's like to access it remotely. Because I'm running it, it's doing a headless server, running Deluge, Deluge Daemon. So I've done the video past, in a couple of days ago on how to set that up. So what we're doing here is just using the Deluge remote client and just accessing it through like the regular interface. So it gives you the same interface, but this is not what's running on the computer here, that's what's running on Raspberry Pi downstairs. Above me here we've got top running, which is showing the CPU and memory usage. It's a good thing we've got the increase in memory now on the Raspberry Pi, so 512 meg of RAM. You'll see it's using 436 meg, <laughs> leaving 20 meg free. Numbers sound a bit odd, but that's binary to decimal numbering. So the other program that's running on there is Webmin. It's just a handy interface for doing admin work on it. What I do like though, ratios on here. Lubuntu, 700 meg ISO, a ratio of 15. Sweet. If I was trying to do that on my desktop computer, I wouldn't have got close to that by now because I don't leave my computer running all the time because it's quite hefty on power consumption. It's got a good spec AMD CPU and quite a reasonable spec NVIDIA graphics card. So I'd have just been wasting my energy bill to power this. All right, so what I'm going to do is add a new torrent. I'm going to go for Linux 14 Mate. Open it in Deluge, add. As you can see, it, actually using it is pretty simple to add a torrent. I think magnet links also work in the same sort of way. You just click on the link, add it, but it adds it on the Pi instead of on the local computer. So download speed, yeah, it's pretty reasonable. What I have found, it sometimes stops downloading part of the way and then it start back up. It seems a weird sort of thing, I've not really noticed the desktop computer do that so much. There could be some issues with resources. So perhaps it's not the fastest device to do torrenting on, but for getting a good seed ratio versus energy used, I think it's probably quite a good little device. If you look across here at the memory usage, and interestingly I've actually freed up some memory on this. You've just got to remember how Linux works. If it can push regularly used files into memory, it will. But then as soon as maybe you need more memory, you just shove them back to the hard drive and you slow the system down, but read writing to the drive. So I'm calling it a drive, it's the, the memory card. But it's basically whatever it is, it's slower than reading and writing from memory. So 700 meg down speed. I would have hoped to have got a bit faster really. I've capped the download speed at 1.4 megs on the Raspberry Pi, and the upload speed I think is capped at 800k. But I've not noticed any reduction in speed of my internet browsing. You know, just go onto my video manager, and we'll go. Oh, why don't I open the tutorial? <laughs> it just shows a video in action. Uh, let's just mute it. Oh, great, I've got an advert. <clears throat> There's me complaining about adverts on my own channel. Hey, come on now, it should only be five seconds. I won't... I don't know what YouTube are doing there, ignoring what I'm telling them on the preferences. As true view, it's meant to be only five seconds. I'm going to go back and change the settings on that. Anyway, change quality, 1080. Downloading. Stuff any consequences on download speed there? No, not really. Let's bring that up. Resources, network usage. Receiving, three point... Or four mega second. Hmm. What's Raspberry Pi doing? 800k download. It's pretty reasonable, isn't it? If you notice the upload speed's dropped. But what I can conclude from using the Raspberry Pi for doing torrenting, it's good for the low power usage and getting your seed ratio up, but what you have to bear in mind is not the quickest device. If you're adding torrents that you want to watch something quickly, it's not going to be a good device for that. But if you're aiming to get your seed ratio up, probably is a good device for that one. I hope that's been useful if you're thinking about using a Raspberry Pi for that. Thanks for watching. See you later.